Russia wants to use North Korean troops as cannon fodder on the battlefield in Ukraine. This was stated by Ukrainian Foreign Minister Andrew Sibiga at a joint press conference with Norwegian Foreign Minister Espen Barth Eid. He emphasized that according to information from our special services and intelligence agencies, we are not talking about North Korean mercenaries who will participate in Russia's armed aggression against Ukraine, but about full-fledged military units, regular troops of North Korea. According to him, this means an escalation of the war against Ukraine, its growth to a larger scale. This is a threatening situation that requires a firm response from the world. We can say the same about Iran's supply of ballistic missiles, Sibiga emphasized. According to him, this can significantly affect the situation on the battlefield, so it is necessary to prevent and stop such a threat. He noted the need for additional sanctions, increasing military assistance to Ukraine. Sibiga explained, We are convinced that the Russians want to use these North Korean soldiers as cannon fodder. They understand how sensitive the issue of mobilization is in Russian society, so by drawing other countries into the war, they are trying to resolve their domestic political situations and relieve tensions. He added that Ukraine had already seen such a situation in the case of mercenaries from some countries in the Indo-Pacific region. After we had concrete evidence of the participation of mercenaries from some countries, we immediately contacted these capitals. By the way, there were also prisoners from these countries. We contacted these capitals to stop this shameful practice of supplying mercenaries for the Russian army of invaders, said the Ukrainian foreign minister. Norwegian foreign minister Espen Barth Eid expressed concern over information about the possible participation of the North Korean military in the Russian-Ukrainian war. At the same time, he added that in such a situation, this is also evidence that Russia has problems if it asks for help from North Korea. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said at a press conference after attending a meeting of the European Council on October the 17th that officers from North Korea, according to intelligence, are already training soldiers of the Russian invading army in the occupied territory of Ukraine. Zelensky said that there is information that North Korea is preparing a contingent that is ready to send to fight against Ukraine. Footage North Korean Army soldiers training at a military training ground in Russia have been released. The images circulated on Russian Telegram channels have been captured by Russian soldiers at the training ground. Hundreds of soldiers can be seen in the released footage. The Russian military says there are more Koreans in the area. It should be noted that Kirill Budinov, Head of the main Directorate of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine earlier said that around 11,000 North Korean infantrymen were currently undergoing training in eastern Russia before heading to fight in Ukraine. They will be ready by November 1, the intelligence chief said. He noted that North Korean troops will use Russian equipment and ammunition, and the first echelon of 2,600 soldiers will go to Kursk, where fighting continues. Where the rest of the troops will be sent is still unknown. We don't have the full picture right now, Budinov noted. Еще. Их миллионы тут. Вот новые подкрепления. Это только начало, там еще дальше. Это только начало, там еще дальше. Ukrainian soldiers fighting Russian forces on Wednesday reacted to President Volodymyr Zelensky's five-point plan aimed at prompting Russia to end the war through negotiations. Major points of the plan, which Zelensky partially revealed to lawmakers on Wednesday, include an invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western-supplied longer-range missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russian territory steps that have been met with reluctance by Kiev's allies so far. 
Soldiers from the Kardia Brigade of Ukraine's National Guard were on Wednesday firing AD-30 howitzer towards Russian positions in the Kharkiv region where they have managed to stall a Russian advance since May. They said the situation remained tense there although Ukrainian troops, including the Kardia Brigade, claimed to have recaptured 400 hectares of forest and destroyed a Russian regiment. Between deafening blasts from the heavy artillery, some reacted positively to Zelensky's victory plan. Of course we believe, of course, we support it that we need shells, we need Western weapons, we need Western funds to wage this war," said Cabin, who did not give his real name for security reasons. The brigade's chief of staff, Faro, sounded a more cautious note. It will be difficult, he said. We hope for the support of our partners, for some international pressure on our opponent, and we should not give up, we should try," he added.